and welcome to my channel. My name is Megan for those of you who are new here and if you're returning for another video, thank you guys so much. You are all so appreciated no matter how many times you've clicked into this channel. Seriously, I really do appreciate it. As you guys can tell, this is again a little bit more different than me just talking to you guys because I do have a, my third actually guest speaker here with me, Corey. So I'm going to let him introduce himself in just a second, but I wanted again on top of saying all these thank yous to just remind you guys if you've been here since the beginning of my YouTube journey, this is really the idea of where I want my channel to go. So as opposed to me just talking at you as much as I love that, um, I want to have other people to kind of be on the channel with me and explain their stories and kind of give different perspective as well. So I'm really excited and thankful that you are joining me. I'm, I'm happy to be here, man. We here. Y'all know what's up with y'all, man. <laughs> Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just let Corey introduce himself. And then I have a fun icebreaker question for you to get you to get you ready for this. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. You know me. I like that. Um, I'm a, okay. What's up with y'all? I like this. <laughs> uh, it's weird being on the, the other uh, side. End. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Um, my name is Corey Dyson, um, AKA Skybox. Um, I'm from St. Mary's County, Maryland. I'm 25 years of age. Uh, I'm a boyfriend and a father of one. Um, anything else y'all would like to know about me, just let me know. I'm here. Yeah. I got to see him and he's sleeping right now. He's being good. He's being a good baby. So, just today. <laughs> yes. Awesome. That's all I need. Just okay. today. Okay, cool. <laughs> just a good day today. We are here. All right. So my question for you, and I did warn him of this ahead of time. I'll be honest with you because it's a funny question. Needed it. So if you were a cucumber in a salad, how would you be? Okay. So <laughs> it threw me off at first, but you know, I had to think about it. So if I was a cucumber in a salad. I would probably be, you know, well-rounded because, as you know, cucumber is round. Um, I'd be laid back because the cucumber is, you know, very laid back. Um, sometimes it leads in taste and sometimes it follows in taste. So I don't mind being a follower or a leader. Hmm. Um, usually salad has dressing and that kind of adds to the flavor and the style that I bring um, to the skybox. So that's how, that's how I would be if I was a cucumber in a salad. That's a much better answer than what I gave. Yeah. I said I said I would just lay there. Because I like to sleep. <laughs> That's another one. That's what I'm doing. So good okay. answer. Good answer. I okay. like that question. <laughs> awesome. So um, as I mentioned, so Corey did kind of introduce himself and kind of give a, a very little bit of what he does. But I wanted you to kind of just explain. So what exactly do you do? What what okay. are you known for? <laughs> okay. Um. So career wise, as far as like. My job, I'm a financial analyst uh, for Booz Allen Hamilton. Mm -hmm. um, I graduated from Morgan State University um, in the spring of 2018. Um, I pledged uh, Alpha and Omega Fraternity Incorporated. I um, was on the dean's list. Uh, oh. I won the President's Second Mile Award. So, you know, I'm just promoting education. Um, um, outside of work and my career, um, we put on showcases. So it's called skybox productions it's myself and my family which i call my team um so right now we're in contract with um st charles mall um we're contracted for three shows so far so what we do is uh we come in we set up our equipment um we we get artists to perform and we give them the community a free show during this pandemic and it's giving the artist exposure is giving them new fan bases is giving them new supporters and it's a chance for them to rock out because uh, a few of them uh majority it was their first time performing so we actually had a show hmm. this past november and it was a huge hit the mall is satisfied and you know some more stuff on the hush hush on the way Yay. um i'm also known for uh doing interviews on facebook um called enter the skybox um so i started that about Four months ago it's about, been a while yeah about four months and between i think i did about 20 or 30 interviews so far and um just promoting artists and black businesses and any businesses honestly um just trying to uplift the culture uplift the people um we do a lot uh, but those are just some of the main things i could go on for days but i'm not gonna okay <laughs> take up too much time <laughs> no thank you for that so no, can no what what encouraged that like what started this idea okay um I'm going to go for each one. I'm going to try to okay. keep it short. Um, so for the interviews, um, a lot of people say I'm a good people person. And, you know, they say I, I speak well. And they say, like, uh, people just cling to me naturally. And um, they were telling me I should counsel. And I was like, well, I always wanted to go to school for counseling. But right now, I can't do that right now. Mm -hmm. So I just came up with the idea in my head because my mind is always racing. And I said, well, what could I do that could bring the community together in a different way than just doing the norm. 
And that's when I literally just thought in my head, I said interviews. And so I put it out there on Facebook and all, all everybody is my witness. So they know I put it out there on Facebook <laughs> and I asked, I said, well, how would you guys feel about me starting interviews on Facebook Live, interviewing artists, businesses, all the talent that we have down here, not just artists, but painters and producers, videographers, and everybody mm-hmm. swarmed that post. And it was like, that's, we need it. It's right now. So that was how that started. And literally the next day, I think I had like 20, 30 interviews lined up. So I booked all the way until January. That's awesome. So, And I've even seen you do um, a couple like families and um, couples and d- yes. different businesses that they have too. Yes. So that's he's crazy. giving a lot of exposure, not just to like single artists or single people. And you know, you're a family man. So I think yes. that that's, that's awesome. And that's really cool to see that you're giving that opportunity to so many people. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah I, I appreciate it. Um, and my dad, I got to give my dad and my family credit to Skybox Productions because you have Into the Skybox, you have Skybox Productions. Um, that started because I also, I, I, I'm a rapper. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to say I'm an artist. I don't like to say I'm a rapper. I'm mm-hmm. an artist. And my dad was like, well, you should be trying to get out and perform. And I said, well, you know, I'm in a business mindset. I'm not in the mood to perform right now, but what I love to, of course. And he was like, well, what did you think about the mall? And I was like, the mall school, you know. So he started talking to the mall. They said, "You're in." I'm like that's awesome. You know, we of course there's a process. It wasn't that easy, but overall, you're in. And I was like, "Well, hold on, let's open it up to everybody." Because me trying to perform for four hours, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna do it. Right. My catalog <laughs> is not that big. I'm gonna be honest. And that's when I, you know, started putting out there. And the first showcase had about seven, eight different artists, and it was a huge success. So I give my credit to my family for backing me. Honestly, that's amazing. Yes, ma'am. So, speaking of family, little man just woke up. <laughs> I'm Hi, excited boy. he's awake. I can see him. <laughs> hey. Um, <laughs> so, how are you balancing? I know that that's a lot for you to balance family life and uh, boyfriend life and <laughs> what you're doing and working. So, how are you How are you handling that? Honestly, I'm taking it day by day. Um, my, my lady and my son, you know, they're definitely a huge part of my life. And my lady being a huge supporter, she definitely backs up everything that I do. Um, making it easier for me to handle it but it, it is pretty hard sometimes because I'm always on go mm-hmm. um, I work you know nine to five you know online because I'm teleworking and then my lady she you know she goes out for work so I'm here with little man all day oh, on wow. top of working you know handling the house then when she comes home I'm trying to back her but she doesn't have to do nothing and so I have to try to like just take a deep breath breathe let it go literally there's no recipe or remedy but when you're a dad and when you're a boyfriend when you're a man you know you just have to buckle down and handle business and that's kind Mm -hmm. of the simplest way i can put it my dad you know he has six seven jobs at one point literally Um, i seen him at his lowest and to his highest and all he did was grind you know pray and grind it out and that's all i can do as a man just grind it out because i don't want them to have to really worry about anything Mm -hmm. i'll make sure that you know they're taken care of Good. Okay, so what kind of led you into even starting to kind of venture out to being an artist or a rapper, whatever whatever you want to call right. it? No, no, that's what real. led you into that world? Because obviously, doing that led you into so many other things that you're yes. able to venture off of it. Um, that's a good question. So shout out to my uncle um, Pierre Harris. Um, he started me freestyling a long time ago. Like, mm-hmm. um, so I usually hung with the older crowd because you know, people would say you have kind of like old soul. Like you're so mature for your age always hung with with the older crowd and he would tell me freestyle right now and i'm like at that age i'm like bro i'm like a nerdy kid in school what do you want me what do you mean you want me to freestyle like what is that he, he was just telling me you just express yourself you can articulate yourself so just say the first thing that comes to your mind so i started freestyling and then over the you know over time you know he said you get real good at it you need to start recording so my mom started um telling me she said like you're really good you need to start you know recording yourself so I had a, uh, a friend named Taz. Um, his name is Dylan Rodriguez, but I call him Taz. Um, you know, I reached out to him and I was like, bro, can I record? Cause I know you record. And, you know, we had started, you know, a go-go band and all that. And he was like the keyboard player. And I was like, can you record me? And he was like, yeah, bro. So I did my first song. It was called uh, Rated R. And it was a hit. Like, he loved it. And so then he recorded me again after that. And then from that point on, I just kept going. I took it to college with me. 
with uh, some of my bros from college. We was in the dorm rooms creating little studios. I don't know if you see Hustle cool. and Flow putting up the uh, the little uh, drink cart. cart yeah, and yeah. <laughs> we was in there taking it serious. That's and pe- awesome. People was like, you're good. So I kind of laid off for a while focusing on school. But then 2019, we came back strong. And I started putting out some, some hits that started people started recognizing me oh, bro you're an artist now like you're you're a rapper you're good you're really good so that's kind of where i'm at now is is is, is music and as you see music is kind of a part of everything that i do mm-hmm. yes, ma'am. so do you think that that is your passion and that you're pursuing your passion actively uh yeah i know i know music is my passion um i thought being an artist was my passion mm-hmm I'm slowly starting to realize, like, I love doing the production. I like being behind the scenes. I like hosting. Um, Mm -hmm. I love being a host. If I could get paid to host shows, parties, anything, I would would rather do that than rapping. But I can't say that if it wasn't an opportunity to be on a a stage performing in front of millions, thousands of people, Mm -hmm. that I wouldn't take it. Like, I would love to perform. Right. Right. and balance it out. I think a lot of artists do that, right? Yeah. Like a lot of them start with that and it is your passion, but being yes. able to kind of get into the business world of things and as you grow and you learn, I think that's that's a lot of fun to be able to do. So you'll get there. I feel like once you have the business side, you can jump in and out of music mm-hmm. when you want to. And that's yeah. just kind of where I want to get to. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So how do you keep yourself grounded and not allow like outside opinions and distractions and things like that to come into your world? Cause we know there's a lot. <laughs> yes, it's a. I get it every day. Um, but the type of person I am, and I'm gonna be completely honest. I love the criticism. I love, I love all that because it helps me be a better person. Even though if, if it's na- the way it comes off nasty, disrespectful, like of course you don't want to take those. Mm-hmm. But when somebody genuinely has your best interest at heart, they will tell you, um, "Hey, bro, that verse was like that wasn't it. Mm-hmm. Like, you could do better." Like, uh, or hey next time at the showcase this is something you could do to make it pop more right those type of advice i i take um but as far as just staying grounded like i'm just a humble person in general because i've been you know at, at the bottom of the bottom and you know looking back and seeing where i came from to where i'm at now you know just the experience just life in itself my family helps me stay grounded because if i ever started to change trust me they would they would correct me they'd mm-hmm. be like oh you starting to feel yourself and i don't ever want to get to that point and the people, the the community tells me, you haven't changed a bit. You're still the same sweetheart. You're still the same mature person. You've always been a business-minded person. That's kind of, if I were to die today, I want to be known as that that person, mm-hmm. not somebody who was cocky or let the fame get yeah. to them. Like, I don't want to do that. Like, everything right. I do is for the people, for my family, for my son, for my lady. Um, and right. I kind of put myself at the back burner of that. Well, good. And I think people who are genuine and you stick with who you really are, those are the ones who succeed and and they, you know, you get to where you're going. Because I I believe the universe gives back what you put out and the energy that you're giving back. And whether it's the universe or God or whoever, whatever it is that you believe in, it always returns that favor. So that's good. I believe in that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so can you, um, do you have a motto that you you live by? What's your, what's your thing? We're going up. Hey! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's my, that is my motto, honestly. Um. Well, first is family over everything. Um, I love my family. Without my family, I'm nothing. Without God, I'm nothing. And God is a part of my family. So without my family, I'm nothing. Um, but I tell people we're going up. Uh, and that just means, like, don't stop. You know, don't stop at anything that you're doing. If you want something, go get it. And I hashtagged it. And now everybody who addresses me on social media or see me personally, they always say, we're going up because they know what I mean. It's not just about myself. Mm-hmm. But everything that I do, it's not just so I can have money in my pocket. Right. If I blow up today, tomorrow, believe I'm coming back for the community. Believe I'm coming back for the homeless, the people who can't do for themselves. I want everybody to eat. And as many miles that I can feed or contribute to feeding is a blessing all to myself. So that's kind of my motto right there. Good. Yeah. Good answer. I like that. Thank you. All right. Um. So where do you see yourself in the next like five to ten years? What's the vision? Where are we going? <laughs> Where are we going? So we're going up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I see Skybox production honestly blowing up mm-hmm. in the next five to ten years. Honestly, um, like I said, you know, certain things on the hush, but Simon has definitely been in talks with us. Um, and I can give you all a little bit. Um, they're trying to get us in other malls mm-hmm. throughout the DMV. Oh. Um, so they're connected with the Pentagon City Mall, Anne Arundel, I think Annapolis. I think any mall in the DMV they're connected to, so they want us to um 
hit those areas. Of course, if we bring the finances, we're good. Right. Um, certain events that they're going to throw, our name is in their back pocket to come and put on those events. Um, certain ones might be outside. Certain ones might have 250, 300 people. You know, oh. they're, they're in the talks. You know what I'm <laughs> we'll saying? We're going to figure this out. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're in the talks. Um, they they love the first show. Absolutely loved it. They love the energy, the vibes, the professionalism. So I could see Skybox Productions expanding out of state in the next five or ten years. I see me either being on the TV show or hosting my own show nationally. Um, that's a goal. Um, of course, I have my own personal home goals. I want, I want to be in a house, mm -hmm. credit up real estate hey, man. <laughs> investments all that like um i had if y'all notice if you ever watch my interviews i'm learning from those same people who's mm -hmm. on there so i had my bro who's doing real estate my other bro who has multiple business i'm learning from them and i'm going under their wing being a follower and learning from them so in the next five years i, I plan to have different multiple streams of income um, creating generational wealth for my son and my family to come yeah absolutely mm -hmm. yes ma'am manifest it you can have anything anything yeah. you put your mind to. So I say that 100% of the time, as, as long as you believe in it, you can absolutely do it. Thank you so, so much. I I'm excited that. to see you on TV. <laughs> yeah, no, we're right there. I'm gonna say, you know, hey, you gotta hold on, uh, <laughs> Megan real quick. Yeah, man. I'll be on YouTube and you'll be on TV. So well, it's gonna go good. <laughs> I believe it. She's gonna, she's gonna hit like a million subscribers soon. Let's Thank do it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then, so my last question that I have for you. Okay. Um, it's just, can you, what message do you want to give to people who are watching, give to people who do look up to you? What, what do you want to share? Like what's your, I guess, ultimate goal or message that you want to give? Um, the ultimate goal is everything you, that you do, just do it out of love and do it for the benefit of somebody else. And I know you're probably like, well, why, why would I do that? What I'm saying is if you're just doing something for yourself, you can be seen as selfish. You got to make sure yourself is good first, but make sure what you're doing and your ultimate goal is benefiting somebody else. So everything that I do benefits my son, benefits my lady, the extra finances I bring in, it benefits my household, um, the things I do for the community, it benefits the community. Um, so just have a, uh, don't, don't let nobody tell you it's wrong to be a follower. It depends on what you're following, but don't mind being a follower, taking good notes, sitting back, really listening. You know, instead of just talking, listen sometimes and you'll learn a lot from mm -hmm. people who are doing their own businesses people that are, are motivational speaking, people who are who have been there, you know, don't be too proud to listen. So just keep going up, um, invest in yourself, don't let nobody tell you different, but also be able to receive criticism. That is a big, big part, be able to receive criticism. Don't think you got it figured out. Don't think because it's working now, it won't crumble. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, but doesn't mean it can't be enhanced a little better. Okay, awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Did you have anything else that you wanted to add? Because I think we're getting a little long here on oh, time, but uh, we could talk forever. <laughs> shout out to everybody. No, uh, just shout out to my, my lady. Shout out to my son. Shout out to my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister, my nieces, my uncle, Skybox Productions. Um, thank you, everybody. Like, I truly uh, appreciate the community for backing behind me, the supporters for backing behind me. Thank you for Absolutely. giving me the opportunity to be on your show. Um, it's definitely been a joy. Um, and I... I pray and manifest that you do everything that you want to do. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> awesome. So thank you again so, so much for joining me. Yes, um, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to check out Brandon's interview, which I did a couple days ago, I Shout will link it somewhere up here. I never know where it goes, <laughs> but I will link the video so you guys can check it out um, because that one is very similar and to like what he does in the community. So both of these gentlemen have been amazing and a pleasure to sit down with and just learn from. So make sure that you guys do check that video out give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please please subscribe to the channel subscribe <laughs> yeah subscribe. <laughs> you subscribe. don't want to miss future videos so again like I said in the beginning most of my videos are going to be like this one where you guys are gonna to get to hear from so many other people so it's not gonna be just me I promise um, so make sure you subscribe give it a big thumbs up and more than anything remember that you guys are so loved you are so appreciated you matter very 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 deeply to this world I see you I hear you I love you guys and I will talk to you guys next time okay <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Look, that's, that's how I do. I'll be like this. I gotta get ready, you know? All right. Okay. Good.